A former Bloomberg News reporter quit her job, divorced her husband and froze her eggs after falling in love with imprisoned Retrofin CEO Martin Shkreli, known as Pharma Bro. On Sunday December 20, Elle magazine published an explosive report that focused on the relationship between Christy Smythe and Shkreli, who is serving a seven-year sentence at a federal prison for securities fraud, which he was convicted of in 2017. Shkreli, 37, earned the title of the most hated man in America in 2015 after intentionally jacking up the price of a drug used to treat a life-threatening parasitic infection. Who is Christy Smythe? Christy Smythe Twitter According to L, Smythe studied journalism at the University of Missouri and worked for two small newspapers before migrating to New York in 2008. Following her stint at a legal news company, she started covering Brooklyn Federal Court for Bloomberg News in 2012. Smythe was, well regarded, at Bloomberg and contributed, reliable, stories for the news outlet over the years, according to the report. In 2014, she tied the knot to her boyfriend of five years, who worked in investment management. However, things were about to change when her paths crossed with Shkreli. When was the first time Smythe met Shkreli? In 2015, based on a tip that Shkreli was under federal investigation for securities law violations and called the former hedge fund manager for comment. He responded by saying that she, had no idea what I was talking about. Smythe went ahead with the story anyway, breaking the news of the investigation but it failed to make an impact because he was not very well known at the time. Later, she ran a story about his arrest and the piece went viral on the web. She managed to get an in-person meeting with Shkreli after he posted his $5 million bond. When they met, Martin started giving Smythe a spiel, she claimed, and insisted on talking off the record. He showed Smythe spreadsheet after spreadsheet with investors' holdings in his funds. You could see his earnestness, Smythe said. It just didn't match this idea of a fraudster. How did they bond? Smythe said Shkreli kept teasing her, citing examples of indicating an on-the-record interview to her and then giving it to one of her rivals. At one point, when Smythe called him for comment, something changed. The convicted fraudster was looking for a new lawyer and asked her for advice. She felt, flattered, she said and offered her opinion. It really felt like he didn't have anybody to talk to that he could bounce ideas off of, Smythe said. I was like, all right. I guess I can do that. He sounded, ragged and fragile, and I got concerned he would commit suicide because all this stuff was all happening at once. Upon Smythe's request for a profile, they met again, this time at a wine bar Shkreli chose near his apartment.